Hey, hey you guys. guys! Welcome back to Crab Central Station. My name is Faith. My name is Darcy. And you are watching our 2021 Crab Central Station Year in, in Review. Review. Alright, we're going to take you guys along and we are going to look back through 2021 and some of the goals we had. Let's do it. Hey you guys! Welcome aboard Crab Central Station guys. My name is Faith. My name is Darcy. In this video we are going to answer one of your most asked questions. What do you do with your crabs when you're on vacation? We are going to talk about if you should bathe your hermit crab. We are heading into the kitchen to make some gourmet hermit crab food. And in this video we're going to talk about how to identify hermit crab aggression are painted shells safe for your hermit crab? That is a really good question, and we are going to answer all of those questions in this video. Let's get started. Faith, this year has been epic. Amazing. Fantastic. Wonderful. Kind of unbelievable mm -hmm. you guys this year in 2021 we hit milestones that honestly years ago I could not have even thought we were ever going to hit um, the biggest being we hit 10,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel you guys that's all thanks to y'all I cannot even express how thankful we are for all of y'all's support um, this year alone, we had 500,000 views on our channel. That is so crazy. Like, that is wild. <laughs> um, and also this year, we started a new social media. We jumped onto the TikTok platform and kind of blew up a little bit. It was really surprising. Uh, we've garnered over 26,000 followers over on TikTok. That's been absolutely amazing. We're having tons of fun with those videos. You guys, go ahead and go follow if you have not yet. Yeah, you know, if we go kind of back to the beginning of 2021, we had set some goals just yep. for the channel, starting out with like branding, which we met. Yeah, yep. so we completely branded the channel, which has been super fun. We have all mm -hmm. of our Crab Crew friends with us. And along with that came our website yep. and merch. Yep. Uh, let me let me stop you there. I got to brag real quick on Darcy and Brooke. She's behind the camera. They spent countless hours on our website www.crabsandjustice.com if you haven't visited it yet um, and rolling out the merch that we have on our website things like that um, kudos to them it's absolutely amazing there's ton of tons of different care guides on there um, some of our um, written experiences from breeding in the past things like that so if you haven't so checked much. it out yet yeah so there's much, lots going on yeah. um, so we rolled that out that was huge yeah we completed the crab room I mean, that was a huge project in and of itself. Yeah, right. Took like a whole year. So, <laughs> and we are still loving it. The crabs are just, I think, in heaven. Crab heaven, yeah, for sure. And we've seen a lot of improvement in their behavior. Yep. Um, and so that's been a lot of fun to watch too. And I mean, this room is just awesome. I love it. Yeah, Darcy spends a lot of time in here. So. <laughs> um, also, this year in 2021, we were on a podcast with Animals at Home. That was super fun. So fun. Yes, yeah. and we were able to reach a whole lot of uh, just completely new audience. new audience. Yeah, which yep. a lot of them joined us over on TikTok, actually, yep. um, and here on the channel. So thanks, guys. We're so glad that you're here on the journey with us. Some of you don't even keep hermit crabs, but you're here, <laughs> you're here. for Thank educating you. and advocating, which yeah. is a lot of fun. So. Um, also, this year, moving into the summer, um, a pretty big milestone is that we had CrabCon 2021 and at CrabCon we released our first ever documentary um, which was a labor of love yeah, that thing Faith works was so a lot hard on that yeah <laughs> yep if you guys have not seen our documentary we'll go ahead and we'll just put it right up here um, for you to watch because a countless of hours but that was done over um, quarantine guys so a lot of zoom meetings and interviews and things and then yep. Faith worked her magic in making that an awesome documentary, but um, we really hope that makes a difference in the, the community and going forward in the industry itself. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then kind of to wrap up our year, wrap up 2021, um, we have continued with a project that we have been um, working away at for a couple of years here now, 
And that is our breeding project. Of course, as you guys know, because we released vlogs about it on our channel about the trials of attempting to breed hermit crabs. This is CCS journey plan number three. And this is the first morning feeding. So these guys were laying like on the bottom like a bed. Oops. Something is definitely wrong. They're not being so basically things aren't going very well. Mom's on the floor. All right, we're having a little bit of a hard time. Hey, Crab Central Station, my name is Darcy, and this is the dreaded day 11 vlog. Mom is having a little bit of a crisis because she feels bad. They're like, they're Ooh, stuck. love you, love you. Yeah. So pretty much from the entirety of summer until just a couple months ago, we were working on breeding. Yeah, so, you know, we actually put out our last vlog where we had packed everything up and we're like, season's over. I am bringing you the final update for attempt four and five with our Enigmas and Strawberry spawns. So we did not make it to Megalopa um, in this attempt but we made it much farther than we have in all of our other attempts um, where we were ending on day 11. And so we made it to day 22 with the Enigmas, no Megalopa, and day 23 with the Strawberries and no Megalopa. And you guys like were right there with us. I feel like feeling our heartache um, during all of those losses and so many of you making just great suggestions on things that we could try to make mm -hmm. improvements. And, um, you know, we promised you guys that we were not going to quit. Like, we're not, this is not a done deal. <laughs> Breeding was not going to be over just because we hadn't been successful. <gasps> we will prevail. <laughs> yes. We do still have some of our crabs carrying eggs. So, um, if I can, uh, if I can catch them in time, put them in the birthing suite, if we think we can manage it during school, um, we'll give it a try. And so, um, you know, and then we went live. Last time you guys saw us on our breeding attempt, we were live with a surprise spawn that was um, back at the beginning of September. Yep. And then, um, yeah, Faith was at college and Brooke was at college and I went back to school. And so it was just me and this surprise spawn. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of a nightmare, honestly. Um, it's a lot of work to breed, as you guys know. And with Brooke and I not here, this one this one was really up to Darcy. So, good morning, Crab Central Station. This is day 25 of our sixth attempt at breeding captive bred hermit crabs. Um, it is September 21st, 2021, and it's about 5 a.m. And I am so excited because this morning I fed the crabs and I got to watch some of them transition to Megalopa. Yeah, so that was um, in the fall, kind of rounding out our year of 2021. But we have some really exciting news <laughs> that, um, that we were going to share with you guys in our year end review. And that is, guys, that we, we did it. Like, we actually did it. We have babies on land. You guys, it is day 43 of attempt six of CCS Journey to Land. And um, it is October 10th, 2021. And we have officially done it. We have bred land hermit crabs in captivity and we have babies on land. 21 of them so far. Oh my goodness. And they've molted. Right, officially. They're official, official land crabs. Like, we did it. We actually did it. Um, so we made 67, 67 babies made it to land um, that we have in our crab room right now. And like, that journey was- A miracle. A miracle. It was, it was a miracle. <laughs> unbelievable. Um, I wish the girls were here to document all of it so that we could bring you along with it. I've got a lot of clips of what I could do while I was here. Um, and so we're, we're going to share those with you guys for sure. But um, it was too difficult to vlog and, and yeah. work and raise the baby. It was a lot. <laughs> and so um, something had to give and that was what it was. But um, it's been so hard to keep this from you guys. The babies are actually three months old. On January 8th, they will be three months old from when mm -hmm. they first took their very first breath 
um, on land. Um, and so it was quite an emotional roller coaster. Faith actually came home a couple times to help me during some of those new transitions when we um, <laughs> hadn't experienced yet when they became megalopa and we had to get them to the transition tank. Yeah, um, and it was quite uh, the trial to do so. We were up all hours of the night and the early morning just like staring at this aquarium with these little tiny babies in it just like praying please transition please transition and oh gosh the first time there was a megalopa i just remember mom being like they megalopa there's a megalopa <laughs> and like it was just like tears because it was just like, oh the moment we had been waiting for no for real like tears and then i couldn't see straight and i'm like but there's more, than there's more. <laughs> yep. so trying to see them through the tears and yeah it was so, um, so awesome. Yep. And the name of the game after they megaloped was then getting them to land and getting them to take a shell. And we didn't really know it because we'd never made it that far. But honestly, that was just as difficult as <laughs> the first half of the journey. Um, and so we were kind of treading new waters there with um, getting them to take shells. It was definitely nerve wracking. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, we, we have some learning, learning curve there. Um, some things to improve on for next summer, um, for sure, yep. you know, because we had over a thousand megalopa, over a thousand, yeah, um, but only 67 made it to land. So we definitely have some improvements to make yep. um, with that, but I'm looking forward to, to making some adjustments and yeah. um, looking forward to breeding season this summer, for sure. Um, now, I know that you guys probably have questions like, what are we doing with the babies, these little miracles? What are we doing with them? Um, yeah, so we'll make those announcements going forward, you guys. Um, they won't be available for adoption until this coming summer. Yep. Um, so you definitely want to subscribe to our channel and follow yep. us on our social media so that you can be there when we make the announcement yep. on how to um, adopt our very first CCS uh, Captain Captain Fred Fred babies. babies. <laughs> yes, so just... Uh, Click those notification bells and we will keep you guys updated for sure on that. Oh, wow. What, what a, year. a year. Yeah, right? <laughs> what a year it's been, honestly. Yeah. Um, Never in my wildest dreams would I have thought we would have accomplished all of this in one year. I know. You guys are amazing. Like, we couldn't do it without your encouragement and your right? help for sure. So, yeah, and, and for um, supporting captive bred hermit crabs, um, yeah. all of this breeding would be for nothing if we didn't have people have adopting so that's yep. amazing all right you guys thanks for joining us on our journey through 2021 yep and we are so excited for 2022 we can't wait to see what it has in store and we just once again thank you guys for supporting us along this journey yep see you in the next video bye bye